guys, I am Matty English, and today I am bringing you a game I have been so interested in playing, Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishments. Now, I've always been a huge fan of the Sherlock movies and TV series, so I'm really looking forward to playing this, and it's a different type of game I haven't really played before, so it'll be a new experience for the both of us. So let's get right into it, guys. New game. I can't read that. In the memory of Ukrainian Heavily Hundred. Frogwares presents. Crimes and Punishments. Music. Doctor. Inspector G. Mr. Hudson. My narrator voice. It's like this. Desdu deduction space icon indicates that some clues can form an important. I was reading that. Some evidence requires additional investigation. It will be marked with a special tool tip in your casebook. Miss an important phrase in the dialogue? You can always check the casebook and check the dialogue. Some evidence requires additional. <laughs> I just want to get into the game. Can we pretty please get into the game? Please. Loading screens are so awkward. Oh my god, I don't know what to say. So how's your day? It's good. Me? Oh yeah, I'm great. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, just, up. Oh, hold that thought. Oh, God damn it, Holmes. Uh, I'm dead. Holmes, will you stop that? Oh, hey, bear. What the fuck? You are utterly mad. God damn it, Holmes. Gosh darn it. Stop, Holmes! Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded? Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> Confidence step. Fucking handcuffs. Policeman. Lestrade. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? He can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Mrs. Hudson! Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? No. Am I the only sane one here? I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black. He's cocky, Peter. just like Sherlock. It's Peter good. Carey. Born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years and where he was found dead yesterday. 
Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The Medi Men struck again. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. Okay. I should help Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. <laughs> I cannot leave yet. I am not finished here. Time to investigate the murder. Okay. Investigate the murder of Peter Carey. Inspect the crimes of the woods scene. Select a suit to wear using your personal wardrobe. Join the stride of the Woodsman Sea. Okay. Where is Hudson? What are you doing, Mrs. Hudson? Hey, Mrs. Hudson. Uh, I already inspected it, didn't I? Oh, there's another one. Evidence. Profile of the victim. He has a beard, and I'm jealous. Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, born in 1845, and so 50 years old. He achieved great success in whale hunting in Scandinavia, retired in 1884, eventually moving to Woodsman Lee. Okay. Hey, Mrs. Oh, Hudson. what a mess! What a terrible mess! Sorry. What am I? Can I run? I can jog. Can I hit it? I want to hit it. You go along to Peter Carey's house. Mrs. Hudson and I will take care of the mess you've made. I cannot leave yet. I am not finished here. What the fuck do you want me to do? Sherlock? Can I... Where do I get changed? I want to get changed. Where's my room? Ah, here it is. Here we go. Can I pick the suit? Oh, I'm thinking casual, baby. Yeah. B to me. Makeup table. Oh my god, this is awesome. Later on. Oh, that's awesome. We get to... Oh! So excited, man. Alright. Let us go. How do I look, guys? Do I look good? Is what's... Oh, what a mess! What a... I thought I looked pretty good. I think I look like a mess. Okay. I only remember... Eight minutes. Alright, cool. Plenty of time. Nothing. Hello, handsome. Come on. Right. Dialogues. Oh, okay, well. Continue. Okay. This is looking good so far. I'm liking this. Obviously, this episode would just be the intro episode. Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. Who is that beautiful broad you are with? It seems that the garden was well maintained. Hey, buddy. Mr. Holmes? He has a lag drag. What's that, man? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? It seems that the garden was well maintained. It seems that the oh, garden okay, was, was well thing, maintained. Yeah. Okay. If you say Mr. Holmes the same way, I swear to God, I'll slap that mustache right Mr. off your Holmes? face. Mr. Holmes? I'm gonna slap that mustache right off your face. Hello! Holmes is here. The game is afoot. 
The game is... Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. Okay, thank you for shouting. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Let's take a look at your eyes. Get some taking used to. Okay. Oh, okay, these are my choices. Anything unusual? Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Liar! I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> When was the body found? Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh, bigger. So at two o'clock, she heard the scream, seven o'clock, she saw the door open, and then ten o'clock, she went in and had a look. A the What's garden it? is very large and well maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Well, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Okay. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Did he have any visitors? Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh, no. I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. He lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. Okay. Don't worry. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you, soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him She's, upon she your was unhappy. from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? Choose the evidence that confronts a statement of a character in order to continue. I wasn't listening. I was... Oh, fuck. Shit. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Oh, Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you, soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he? So she when was unhappy. you first met him upon your return from Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. Oh, he's breaking it the down. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Oh, break it down for me, Holmes. Thank you, madam. Okay. You bitch. 
Judith Carey is a woman of an uneasy life due to her unhappy marriage with Peter. She is a religious, Christian, Catholic woman who undertook St. Jane's in a way pilgrimage when she was young. Hey, what's this? Look at garden. The garden and the fields are well kept. A cave of gardener works here. I was just in that. What do you want me to do? Jesus is from the country, somewhere near the ancient pine woods of the Inversary. Inverse and Strathipicibidehamanamah in Scotland. Scotland! Where the classy tit bird can be found. She is religious and undertook St. Jane's Way pilgrimage to the cathedral in Santiago de Compostela. <laughs> I've gone S Scottish to Spanish. When she was a young woman, an Australian. What? What the fuck? Okay. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Can I go in the... Yo! Buddy? Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to... Thank you. Let me... Break it down. The door is locked. Running out of time. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Oh, he's fucked it. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. Let me break this shit down for you, Lestrade. Let me examine this motherfucking door. Oh, look at these. Concentrate your attention on finding detail there. Yeah, These see? scratches are fresh. That's what Lestrade just looked at, but you know. You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. It's the bitch. Now a mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. He might have gotten in, you haven't even checked yet. He might have just locked the door behind him. God dang. What? What's the body look like? I'm curious. Get what impaled, bro! To die. Break this shit down right now. One of these are missing. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. Sorry. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a wailing harpoon. What? This wooden handle is plain and solid. Can I focus on the symbol? This wooden handle yeah, I get is it. plain and solid. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. Hmm. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. This man is in his 50s, yet he still looks quite strong. A sharp knife was found on the floor nearby the body of Black Peter. The blade shows no sign of use. Okay. Old navigation instruments. Nothing interesting. Can I lift the hat? Peter carries boots. They look to be a size 8. Okay. 
Find a use. Peter carries boots. They appear to be size eight. Okay, so apparently... The murder weapon. I'm not done with the contents of this chest. Yes, I am. Never mind. I'm running out of time. What is this? Shelf. What the fuck? The tooth oh. of a sperm whale. Probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. The tooth yeah, of a sperm whale. Probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book. A box or a small chest, perhaps. Damn, I'm good. The murder weapon was probably taken. F the murder weapon was probably taken from this rack. Definitely got impaled. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. You're not even talking. Peter Carey was her captain. Dialogue. The outline on the dust of one of Carrie's shelves looks like something has been removed. It is larger than a book, a box, or small chest, perhaps. I didn't check everything, did I? Okay, find a use for the... Anything up there? No. Someone Dirty. drank from this glass recently. Possibly Peter. Someone drank from this glass recently. And a visitor? What is this? Tobacco pouch. The initials PC have been crudely burned. A sailor's work. Hmm, this aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. Uh. Oh my god, this is awesome! Obviously, it's a boat. Of some sort. This may take me a while. That's a pipe. No. I don't. It's difficult, but I don't. I really don't want to. It's a ship or something. I don't know. I'm gonna have to skip this, aren't I? I really don't want to, but I might have to. So I can figure this shit out. Wait, whoa, 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 Maddie. Oh. Where's that pipe going? Well, that's right, apparently. Can't move it side to side. It's gonna take me a while, isn't it? Sick. I'm gonna have to skip this. Yes. yes. How this the fuck? Is horse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. Okay. <sighs> Rum, a sailor's drink. It seems that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. This game's gonna be too smart for me.
Have you finished inspecting the crime scene? Obviously not. Oh, I've been playing for a long time. Alright guys, I'm going to have to cut it here. I'm sorry. Um, I'll try and figure this out in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm really enjoying this so far. If you did like the video, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below telling me what else you want to see on this channel. I'm Matty English. I love you all so much. And I will see you guys next time. No, 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 no.